Hello everyone, welcome back to the Yassi Show. Today is not Monday when I'm recording this. Today is not Sunday when I'm recording this. I'm recording the show on Thursday. Two days after the supposed red wave. I don't need to tell you that there's no red wave. There was no red tsunami. There was no red mirage. Well, actually, there was a red wave in Florida. I told you a couple weeks ago that we can rig the election legally. And I'm happy to tell you that the vote, the numbers in voting, the voter turnout was immense. I'm happy to tell you that. But it wasn't enough to overturn the fraud. I'd be lying to you if I told you that the people didn't call me and tell me that they went to vote in New York for Lee Zeldin and the ballots were pre-filled out for Hochul. I'd be lying if I didn't tell you in Jersey. I saw a law. I saw a, a news report. Everyone, please don't hand us your IDs. We don't need your IDs. I'd be lying if I didn't tell you I saw what I saw on Twitter. Machines aren't working. People are being sent home. Ballot machines jammed. I'd also be lying if I told you that the Secretary of State in Arizona, who, who was running, or is running, I don't know if it's going to be over, on Monday, for governor, didn't recuse herself. The fraud is fraud all over. Is there any hope for America? We managed to eke out a win and take back the House just slightly. The Senate's gonna go to George. Uh, go to a runoff in George. That's what that's what it boils down to. Jesse, what's the solution? You know, he has so much hope for us. Can't say that I don't. As you know, the work starts now. That's the title of this podcast. The work starts now. What I mean. We have rights. We have Rights. We do have rights. We have rights to free and fair elections. We also have the First Amendment, which gives us the right to protest peacefully. I'm not calling for violence. Everyone, I have good answers for you. Really good answers for you. Let's hope they work. It's time to demand voter ID. What? What do you mean? Not too long ago, I had a conversation with Will Conway from the Forward Party. And I was considering conversing with him more. I thought I might be on board if they don't ditch the Constitution. He says, of course, the Constitution is the Constitution. And then I said, when you vote on integrity, of course, what's what's a good election without voter integrity? And then I told him we need voter ID. And he said, no. That's not in the Constitution. How is it not in the Constitution to demand voter ID? Well, I know that it was ra- it's racist, supposedly, because African Americans are too stupid to realize what a voter ID is. Or how to get a voter ID. A voter ID is just photo ID. You need a photo ID to drive. I should come. I show up. Here's my vote. Uh, here's my photo ID. I am Yossi Schmidt. I am Yossi Schmidt. You know, it's that simple. It's not racist. That's what we need. We need protests and calls to our House representatives to. Our, our senators. 
We need protests, mass protests, peaceful protests. And we need voter ID. We need it to be free and fair. We need people to oversee the election. Journalists to be allowed in. Oh, you're not pre-approved? You cannot see what we're doing? No, that's not the way it works. We need people to demand answers. We need people stepping up and asking the answer, the questions. And demanding answers and posting on social media. And if you're told, like there was in the primary in Texas, that, oh, we don't have enough workers for the Republican uh, ballots, we only have for Democrat ballots, you're told that? Guess what? The man the, just volunteer your time. And if you can't call people, make sure you get people to volunteer their time. It's that simple. Start asking questions. Don't rely on the mainstream media because the mainstream media is not going to ask those questions. We have Project Veritas start demanding and asking questions. And they leaked a lot of things out. We need that. Start demanding voter ID being required. It's very simple. Start doing your own research. Start asking questions. We can do this. Call your House representatives. Call your state senators. And don't give up until they promise you that they're going to take action. It kills me to say that the fraud was so rampant on Friday. I mean, on Tuesday. It kills me. We can do better, America. We can do better. And I demand that we're going to do better. The system isn't there. We aren't there for the system to abuse and abuse. The system is there for us. If the system is broken from outside in, from inside, when you revoke the system, rebuild it from that. From the inside. We need to rebuild from scratch. The government isn't there for us. We aren't there for the government. The government is supposed to be there for us. The government works for us. The government is not going to tell us, sorry, we can't answer any questions because you work for us. Hold them accountable. Hold the media accountable. Hold alternative social media platforms accountable. Hold our politicians accountable. They're doing something wrong. Hold them accountable. Step up and join the fight. We are the leaders that we're waiting for. Oh, Americans are going to be saying, when some leader jumps up, you, you can be the leader. Take the time and jump into it. I have faith in the country. We can do this. Quick update. Two social reviews still going on. I can't tell you how very uh, in-depth I'm going into the Terms of services and a privacy policy. Again, Truth Social, if anyone of you are watching this podcast, as soon as I send you the questions, how I send it to you, I'm going to tell you this. You're going to have one week to respond. After that, I'm putting it out together, all together, and no matter what, my review is going on. I don't care. It's time for transparency. If you want to be real transparent, like Devin Nunes claims, be transparent. Next topic, Elon Musk. Bought Twitter supposedly for free speech. He's there. So he spent $44 billion because he believed in free speech. He's a free speech absolutist. And then he goes ahead and tweets out, what? The Twitter has to be the sole sor- the source of verified news? What are you trying to say there? That Twitter's gonna be the arbiter of truth? No, Twitter's not the arbiter of truth. Twitter is a global marketplace. A place where everyone speaks. That's not the place for Twitter to be. Fact checks have no place from Twitter. Yeah, blame it on the users, blame it on this, the users, the users, the users, the users. We don't go, we don't, Discipline for misinformation. We have freedom of speech. 
When I do my news roundups, I'm not saying that I'm the sole arbiter of truth. I tell you straight up, I make mistakes. I do as much as I can to verify it. And I lean to the source. I'm not the sole arbiter of truth. You could go to other places besides for the news roundups. You could go to Bongino Report. You could go to any of these sites. But I'm not punishing people for being wrong. Twitter, when he says he wants to be the sole arbiter of truth or the place for only truth, what do you mean by that? Can you explain that to me, Elon? We need this. America, I have faith in America. I have faith that we could hold everyone accountable. Please don't let me down, and please don't let the system down. It's time to rebuild the system. It's time to have election integrity. See you next week.